After three years of fighting with Russia, Zelensky is finally ready to come to the table and figure out a peace deal. I know we've all seen the propaganda, Ukraine's winning, they're holding the line, Russia can't break through, but the reality is their numbers are dwindling, Ukrainians are dying unnecessarily, and even Zelensky admits it, and is ready for this unnecessary war that was driven by NATO to come to an end. We don't, we don't have too much time because we have a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, wounded and dead people on the battlefield and through civilians. That's why we don't want to have this war during, during years. So that's why we want to prepare this joint plan, put it on the table to the second summit, second peace summit. The problem is, even though Zelensky is ready for this war to come to an end, NATO isn't quite ready yet. In fact, very soon after Zelensky made these comments, NATO announces a Kiev post that will Trump proof all aid that's sent to Ukraine, effectively sabotaging any potential plans for Zelensky and Putin to reach a peace deal. NATO will put a senior civilian official in Kiev amongst a bunch of new measures in order to shore up long-term support in Ukraine, which effectively means Ukraine will go from being an unofficial NATO proxy to an official NATO proxy. And now Zelensky and Ukraine will learn like so many others that the only thing more dangerous than being an enemy of the United States is being an ally of the United States. Because like I said, just a few days ago, days ago, Zelensky was ready to do whatever it took to speed up ceasefire talks. Then he got the bat signal from NATO and whenever Turkey introduced a ceasefire plan to speed up those peace talks, Zelensky refused. He refused within 24 hours of NATO making that announcement that they were gonna put an official in Kiev. Hmm. I wonder what changed his mind. It's almost like this was never Ukraine's war to start or finish, but instead was always a plot by NATO and was always to serve NATO's end. Like we told y'all from the beginning. So, sorry Zelensky, you don't get to have peace until NATO and the United States say you do. Them's the rules, we didn't make them.